نحن أولا ويجب أن تكون هذه الصورة واضحة نحن ككل الفلسطينيين وكل الإسلاميين في أي مكان نقول أن فلسطين هي من حدود لبنان إلى حدود مصر ومن البحر إلى النهر الحكومة جطرحها للذهان كان الزرع يطول نصبوا لنا خيام أعطونا مخيم بعد المخيم سووا لنا بركية والله هذا الشيء في يد الله سبحانه وتعالى ما هو في ايدي ولا في ايدك ولا في ايد غيره ولا غيرك هذا الشيء مقدر عند الله ومسجل في اليوم الساعة كيف بدنا نرجع ومتى ومتى نرجع يمكن سؤال في جيلانا في جيل الله اعلم كيف الله اعلم متى نرجع والعلم عند الله سبحانه وتعالى وعبرنا عن هذا الموقف بكل تصريحاتنا احنا ما زلنا نناضل من اجل عوده عوده اللاجئين الى ديارهم وفق وفق القرارات الشرعيه الدوليه One of the most persistent international news stories, the Arab-Israeli conflict, incredibly complex even after half a century, continues without any solution in sight. While terrorist acts bloody the Israeli civilian population, resulting in reprisals and blockades of Palestinian zones, millions of Arabs, made refugees for many generations, live in unhealthy and precarious conditions, unacceptable to the Western world, often only a few miles from their original homes. They are under the charge of UNRWA, an agency of the United Nations created 50 years ago and still active, that now appears to perpetuate this dependence, while their claim to the right of return, long made unenforceable due to the many years of conflict, has always been the first condition for peace. هذا الجزء الغريب عنا إذا كنا غير قادرين الآن على أن نصنع انتصار حاسم باسترداد كامل الحقوق وهنا أميز بين الحل السلمي الاستسلامي المرحلي الذي يسمى يعني تسويات وبين الحل السلمي المبني على العدل الذي يعني عودة كل الأرض وعودة كل اللاجئين It's very difficult for a Palestinian, and I am a Palestinian and a loyal one, to say the right to return is no longer an issue. But if politics is a human invention, it is men who have to suffer its consequences, following the example of history after five decades of bad blood, rejected by their new homeland, and forced to substitute by desperation the pride of an ultranationalism which has continued for generations. But despite this ultranationalism, the world was shocked to see a radical Islamic wing, Hamas, win the Palestinian elections. 
By what mythology and by what ideological beliefs could this organization, known for its acts of terrorism, garner such a victory? These are essential questions whose answers could change the course of history and possibly the survival of two nations. The Palestinian people, uh, they have been refugees for the past 55 years. Their plight remains uh, unsolved. This is a, a, a gross injustice. It is a, a, a travesty of, of the law. Ici, toutes ces races sont venues, qui sont multipliées ici, en Palestine. Alors, qu'est-ce qu'on est Dieu sait que c'est. Il y a des Turcs qui sont restés 4 siècles ici, de 15-17 à 19-17. Ils ont fait un pays mort de tous les points de vue. In the 19th century, it was well known that the lands now claimed by the Palestinian community were utterly arid and barren. Mark Twain observed that they were lands of death, weeds, and desolation. About 63% of the refugees uh, from 1948 were rural Palestinians. They came from villages, they were peasants. So their lands, their farms, their factories, their banks, their, their businesses, they have to be restored, restituted to their rightful owners. لأن اللاجئين يعني نشأت مشكلة اللاجئين حينما إسرائيل طردتهم من فلسطين بالقوة والمذابح وارتكاب المجازر On May 15, 1948, the Arab side immediately commenced a war against the Jewish state. At the uh, end of the war, several hundred thousand Arabs who lived in this territory and who had fled largely at the request or the ordering of Arab state populations to ensure that they would be able to finish off the Jewish state without any Arab victims were left as refugees. Our home was not taken over by the Israelis. No. Israeli tank or platoon or soldiers came over and said, get out of here, you know, get out of here. You know, we want to take this house. The country was bisected by the war. Even without uh, Arab leaders encouraging uh, Palestinians to leave, uh, many might have left out of fear and indeed out of a certain belief that the Arab uh, armies will come out victorious from this war and they could come back to their land. But there were cases where uh, there was a policy of evicting uh, Palestinians who became later on refugees. Many more people left because they were told that in a few days, or at worst a couple of weeks, they would return with the triumphant Arab armies to take their lands back and have more than they ever had before. <laughs> دملنا المفاتيح بالتراب جابونا على الكارانتينا صاروا يدبروا لنا هاي وبعدين اخذوا هذا المخيم وعملوا لنا خيم خيم مثل المعسكرات صاروا يمنعوا اللي يطلع واللي يجي ومثل السجن سجنونا The Arab governments were largely responsible for the ruin of the Palestinian Arabs. By exaggerating their hopes, they made them intransigent. By inciting a million Palestinian Arabs to leave their lands for neighboring countries, we have brought about their destruction. This is the problem how the Arab governments don't want, since 48 until today, don't want to solve the issue of the Palestinian people. Our leaders are the responsible ones, spreading rumors of massacres and atrocities committed by Jews. They distilled terror in our hearts until we ran, thus abandoning our homes to our enemies. I asked Dr. Khalidi how we should cover the story. He said, we must make the most of this. So he wrote a press release stating that at Deir Yassin, children were murdered, pregnant women were raped, all sorts of atrocities. 
يخشن على الوحل فدير يسين يزغط البنت ولا المرأة ولا اللي هو يبقى واقف جوزة ولا أخوه يوقفون يوقفون ودق في البنات وهالنسوان وبعدين يرشوا إزلام تعدير يسين ذبح we said there was no rape. He said we have to say this so the Arab armies will come to liberate Palestine from the Jews. This was our biggest mistake. We did not realize how our people would react. As soon as they heard that women had been raped at Deir Yassin, Palestinians fled in terror. They ran away from all our villages. Arab radio stations passed on the false reports, ignoring the protests of the witnesses. The Arab states encouraged the Palestinian Arabs to leave their homes temporarily to facilitate the passage of the Arab invading armies. نحو لقبيبة ابن شاهين يعني في الشرق فثم بعد ما سقطت بلدنا وجاء الجيش المصري فعدنا إليها فوجدت أن يعني كل بيوتها محروقة لأنكم تعلمون أن بيت الفلاح يعني هو عبارة عن بيت في الشجر أغصان شجر وفي عليه قصب ذرة إذا بتعرفوا نبات الذرة البيضاء التي تؤكل هذه Today, the Palestinians claim a right of return to lands that were subsequently built up and fertilized and rendered very useful by the state of Israel. And they want to return to lands that do not resemble in any way the lands that they left. يعني بفكر شو القصد شو بتقصد في بفكر فيها تغيرت شو العوامل فيش شيء تغير علينا أرضنا موجودة هي هي أنا من الصبح إذا كله يرجع على أرضك بترك أرضي ها أنا بترك المخيم بروح أعيش في أرضي ما جانا في الأول الليس بشمين هذا لا تينا بدينا وتبن تبن الكمح it's the most complicated uh, process you can imagine because it touches all the neurologic center of the human mind and existence. It touches religion and memory and history and, uh, and divergent interpretations of the past. Uh, it's, uh, it's just about everything. <laughs> هاي أرض عربية إسلامية أنا بعتبر حالي عربي على أرض الأردن هسا المفاهيم تغيرت يعني بلش يصير في وعي عند المواطن العرب إذا بدنا نحول القضية الفلسطينية إلى فلسطينية ونقطة هاي نهاية القضية بالإسلام بالعكس القضية قضية عربية إسلامية هاي واجب على كل عربي ومسلم إنه يدافع وإنه يعني يكون له موقف حقيقي وسليم من القضية الفلسطينية ومن القضية العراقية كمان فالجسم العربي جسم واحد كل جزء من الوطن العربي هو جزء من الجسم إذا صار في أي خلل بالتالي الجسم كله راح يتأثر Arab regimes have been able to focus upon Israel the antipathy and the anger of the Palestinian populations that ought to be directed much more rightfully against various Arab governments uh, it is important to realize also that the overwhelming hostility in the Arab Islamic world to the state of Israel is largely based on religion. فما ذكر بالقرآن هو الذي راح يصير يعني إحنا ويا مصراع من هذا اليوم الدين بإذن الله النصر سوف يطلع من داخل فلسطين. إحنا بإذن الله سوف نحرر أنفسنا حتى لو استشهدنا كلنا كفاية أن نكسب الجنة كفاية أن نكسب كرسي في الجنة لأن الإسلام والعرب عنا ضاع. يجب على الإسلام أن يظهر من جديد يجب أن تصحو الإسلام من جديد ويرعى في قلب الشباب من جديد بكف إنه الله هو اللي واقف معنا إحنا بكف إنه الله اللي واقف معنا إحنا قاعد الطفل عنا بطلع الدباب وبحارب دبابة